four and a half hours. That's a long time to take somebody's statement. What exactly did Swati Maliwal tell the Delhi policeman who had come to take her deposition at her house? Well, from what we are hearing, we know a few things. First of all, when she made that phone call, she said that somebody like Biplab Kumar is beating me up at the behest of someone. That someone became clarified and I need to have some transcripts to confirm this. It, she meant it was Arvind Kejriwal. So this is what some news medias have speculated. I want to leave it at that. But clearly, Biplab Kumar is not somebody who is going to take matters in his own hands and start beating people up. As to who he is, let's take a quick look at a short video about who Biplab Kumar is according to Vishwas. That is Kumar Vishwas. Here we go. Stand लेके आया उसने कहा इससे बना लेंगे और एक लैपल लेके आया और जैसे आपकी टीम ऐसी टीम आई दो तीन लोग आए तो एक लड़का मैंने देखा कि वो लाइट उठा रहा है रख रहा है या कैमरा लगा रहा है तो मैंने पूछा ये कौन है तो उसने मुझे बताया कि ये मैंने दस या पंद्रह हजार रुपए पे कबीर जो मेरा फाउंडेशन है उसमें मैंने एक सहायक रख लिया है पत्रकारिता का कोर्स करके आया है ये वही सज्जन थे विभव कुमार जो बाद में द इन फेमस विभव कुमार जो बाद में अरविंद के पीए बने पहले दिन से और इस पार्टी में इस आंदोलन में जितना भी नॉन ग्रास रूट काम हुआ लोगों की चरित्र हत्याएं करानी उनके खिलाफ ट्वीट्स कराने उनके बारे में फैमिली के बारे में गंदगियां करनी या आ, मतलब एक तरीके से जैसे कहते हैं कि वो आ, हर तरह के राजदार विभव कुमार बाद में उनके बने सो अकॉर्डिंग टू कुमार विश्वास ही वॉज अरविंद केजरीवाल हैचेट मैन समबडी हु विल डू ऑल द डर्टी जॉब्स and perhaps this time he might take the fall for the assault on Swati Maliwal to protect his boss but i kind of find that a little bit uh, difficult to believe uh, and the reason i say that is when you look at what he was saying kumar vishwas was saying that viplo kumar is being paid 10 to 15000 rupees a month from one of the ngos remember i talked about this ngo yesterday kabir parivartan and kabir these were started in 2002 from funds from ford foundation i have sold all these things yesterday if you have not seen my hangout of yesterday do take a look at it i'll put that as one of the links in the references so you can easily access that so clearly biplab kumar is somebody who dirts the dirty jobs for uh, arvind kejriwal in fact the other thing that kumar vishwas said was that if somebody needed to be assassinated politically it would be biplab kumar who will be giving the dirt to media and uh, other people places where people can just take it and run with it so we have a lot of sleaze that this guy has handled god knows what else is happening but i have a feeling that the reason why so much back and forth is happening is because if you remember when arvind kejriwal was taken into jail and he was not willing to part with the password for his phone and the speculation was that he perhaps has some bitcoins on the phone and therefore he didn't want that to be exposed because once the bitcoin is exposed then you kind of know that you are dealing with currency that is not legit is it possible that swati maliwal also has a few bitcoins today's going rate on bitcoins is close to $50000 per coin that's a lot of money and if there is somebody who is willing to convert it into currency then the anonymity is complete nobody knows where the money came from but ergo suddenly somebody a karyakarta in a particular district particular constituency has a lot of money which he then or she then would go and distribute among prospective voters is this what is happening well that is a possibility but what rankles me is that she is a member of rajya sabha is this how we treat our lawmakers it is it doesn't matter that she might not exactly be qualified for that the aam aadmi party felt it fit that she represent them in rajya sabha you have to accept that at that face value i mean once elections are over you may not personally like a prime minister but because he is a prime minister he needs and deserves all the respect that a prime minister of a country would get party is only one thing ideology is only one thing once elections are done and the dust is settled person who has been elected by the majority of people shall be the prime minister i'm just explaining this to tell that we have to respect the fact that swati maliwal has been elected on the aam aadmi party ticket to become a rajya sabha member now is she being displaced well i think and also remember that her own ex husband has hinted that the matter goes far beyond membership to rajya sabha so that's where things stand now a lot of people are also saying 
that in her deposition she said that he punched, he slapped her five or six times, that he punched her in the gut, in the, in the chest, in, in her stomach. So essentially, chal gaya. that's what I, I would say in Hindi. The guy really let it fly and all these things are happening now. This is where things get really interesting. One version says that, you know, uh, Arvind Kejriwal was in the house. Another version says that he was actually watching all these things being done. So essentially, he was giving a dressing down, physically, of course. But if that happened, then a chief minister can't protect his own Rajya Sabha member. It doesn't matter if it is a Biplav Kumar who is flying into a rich, which not even for a moment do I accept that that is a possibility. Sleaze are the worst kind on display now. And how sharply the turns and twists it's going to take, we'll have to wait and see. By the way, the other guy, Sanjay Singh, who's also a member of the Rajya Sabha, who was also on jail, but in the jail, but he came out on bail. That man also, along with Biplav Kumar, um, accompanied Arvind Kejriwal when they, bo- they flew down to Lucknow, where Kejriwal held a press conference. As soon as the name Swati Maliwal came up, he just pushed the mics away from him. We saw that also. This is available on social media. And when asked, people like Kapil Sibal, Priyanka were saying that this is an internal mar- uh, party matter and they will sort it out. Also, Priyanka, when she was asked whether this is a woman uh, matter of a woman being slapped like this, she said, I'm always for the woman. But then she immediately in the same breath says that, well, in th- this is a case where the party will have to settle the matter internally. So th- this is where things stand. Um, BJP is clearly going to town. Also, we saw um, in social media, again, I have not got definitive proof of this happening or not. In uh, in Punjab, when he was campaigning, Bhagwan Singh Man got assaulted by someone, whether it is a voter or somebody who was trying to, uh, you know, have his differences sorted out physically. Uh, on, only news will tell, but I definitely saw uh, Bhagwan Singh Man being assaulted. He was wearing his colorful yellow turban and you can see, for a moment you can see his face. No, you, we know that it is Bhagwant Man who is being assaulted. So, assault gate now, I guess, Amadi Party, everybody is getting assaulted. We don't know why, but uh, we sure know that there is a lot of turmoil within the party. I think uh, Arvind Kejriwal is not going to get it so easy. He is not going to be able to uh, hoist his wife as the Supremo while he cools his heels in the prison. This is my read because you can see that people are fuming and uh, God knows what kind of sleazeball uh, deals he has done with all these people. So we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.